What's up, and welcome to Surging Ahead. Today we're going to talk about some changes to Tesla's autopilot suite, mainly the official announcement of the removal of radar from new Model 3 and Model Y. So stick around, and we'll dig right in. Okay, so yesterday... There were some articles going around, uh, specifically this thread on Reddit, which discovered that Tesla had replaced the radar with the vision system on the Model 3 and Y order pages. If you look here, it shows 12 ultrasonic sensors, 250 meters of powerful visual processing, and 360 degrees of visibility. And you can check here. And it shows what it used to have, which was the 360 degrees of visibility and 160 meters of forward-facing radar. So, I mean, to start off with, that looks great, right? We're looking at an, an additional, what, 90 meters worth of visibility here. And that's great. It looks good to start with. And maybe it will be very good. The jury's still out on that. But we'll get into a document from Tesla, which has me a little concerned, at least upon the initial rollout here, of what this is going to be like for these customers. So they start off with this, just showing the changes and what happened. You can see on the actual website that it is, in fact, saying that they no longer have that old information out there, just the 360 degrees and 250 meters of uh, processing it up to 250 meters in range. So... That was out yesterday, which led to a lot of speculation um, centered around the June 3rd announcement or delivery event coming up for the Model S and basically people thinking that Tesla was likely removing radar from those vehicles and it would be pure vision. And that may have been the holdup. Tesla has since released this document here where they um, say transitioning to Tesla Vision. So we'll go ahead and read through this really quick. It's not super long. Um, I'm just big into the details here. So transitioning to Tesla Vision. We're continuing the transition to Tesla Vision, our camera-based autopilot system. Beginning with deliveries in May of 2021, Model 3 and Model Y vehicles built for the North American market will no longer be equipped with radar. Instead, these will be the first Tesla vehicles to rely on camera vision and neural net processing to deliver autopilot, full self-driving, and certain active safety features. Customers who ordered before May 2021 and are matched to a car with Tesla Vision will be notified of the change to their Tesla accounts prior to delivery. So here is where the more concerning part comes in. For a short period of, during this transition, cars with Tesla Vision may be delivered with some features temporarily limited or inactive, including auto steer will be limited to a maximum speed of 70 miles per hour and a longer minimum following distance. Uh, this would be problematic for me considering the interstate speed limits here are 75, uh, which absolutely nobody drives. Um, and so if I were limited to 75 miles per hour on the interstates, cars would be flying by me. And I really hate that sensation. So uh, auto steer for me to really feel safe with it on our interstates needs to be able to go up to 80 miles per hour. Um, hopefully this is a short term thing and doesn't last long, but I, you know, that is definitely a, uh, a step backwards for today. Um, and also the, the longer minimum following distance, uh, we'll have to see how much longer that minimum following distance is, but, uh, that's also a little bit concerning. Um, they also said that smart summon if equipped, and emer emergency lane departure avoidance may be disabled at delivery. Um, and so smart summon, uh, I don't, it's not very good. So not having that probably is not a huge deal to, uh, to not have immediately. Hopefully it comes quickly, but you know, hopefully the pure vision approach for this makes all of ours better. Um, and I'm good with that. The other thing, the emergency lane departure avoidance. Um, I've never actually had this kick in, so I don't know how valuable it is, but losing a safety feature is never a good thing, I think. Um, so hopefully these are short-lived. But um, if you'll remember the switch from autopilot 1 to autopilot 2 and later took many years for it to get to the same quality. So 
Hopefully we're not looking at a repeat of that and Tesla is able to get this information quickly. Um, we'll read on here a little bit for what they say the reason it is. Uh, so they said, in the weeks ahead, we'll start restoring these features via a series of over-the-air software updates. All other available autopilot and full self-driving features will be active at delivery depending on order configuration. All new Model S and Model X, as well as all vehicles built for markets outside of North America, will continue to be equipped with radar and will have radar-supported autopilot functionality until we determine the appropriate time to transition those vehicles to Tesla Vision. Um, and so uh, they have a quick fact here. How do I know if my car is equipped with radar? And they says starting with deliveries in May 2021, Model 3 and Model Y vehicles built for the North American market will be optimized for Tesla Vision and will not be equipped with radar. If you ordered a car before May and are matched to a car that is not equipped with radar, you will be notified of the change in your Tesla account prior to delivery. Um, and then why aren't Model S and Model X transitioning now? Model 3 and Model Y are a higher volume vehicles. Transitioning them to Tesla Vision first allows us to analyze a large volume of real world data in a short amount of time, which ultimately speeds up the rollout of features based on Tesla Vision. So honestly, I'm not sure that truly answers the why aren't Model S and Model X transitioning now. Maybe they think that their user base is less likely to be understanding of not having those features when they first get the vehicles. I mean, sure, it makes sense to have it for your large, to gather a large amount of vehicles by not using it. But realistically, if you never plan to have that, I don't know why you would include it in the other cars that are brand new and just rolling out. But whatever, um, this does actually you know, confirm that Tesla will be continuing to use radar in their Model S and Model X vehicles. So clearly the removal of radar is not the reason the Model S and Model X are delayed. So I find this all interesting. Um, you know, Elon's been alluding to this for a while that Vision is the future for Tesla and they're going to stop using radar. He said they were pulling them out of production, which seemed like a, uh, a drastic move to me, but it looks like they are in fact doing exactly that. So they're all in on vision for the cars coming up. Um, you would hope that they would be very confident that they'd be able to get where they need to go uh, to make this just as, if not safer than their cars, which are currently equipped with radar for making this decision. So um, I think it'll be exciting to watch how this progresses and even just to see what this initial release looks like of Pure Vision. Um, I'm especially curious of how this works on interstates. Um, and the reason I'm, I'm curious about that is currently, uh, when you're on the interstate, the vehicle, in my opinion, seems to be very bad at understanding how vehicles behind you are approaching when it's choosing to change lanes. Um, it has a tendency to cut vehicles off. Um, it waits entirely too long to change lanes. And so when it does, sometimes that decision is really confusing for traffic behind you. Um, it does a really good job of understanding what's going on in front of you and choosing a good time to change lanes there, which it's clearly relying on the radar to do. And it does nowhere near of a, as good a job for uh, cars coming up behind you. Um, and so hopefully this pure vision approach is really able to fix that and do a better job there in really detecting where vehicles are behind you and do a better job of route planning there. Um, the limit to 75 miles per hour, like I said, would be concerning to me. Um, I'm not buying one of these cars in many parts of the nation. I'm not really sure that that's going to be a big deal. But like I said, the interstates here are 75 miles per hour. Uh, people drive faster than that. Uh, I would feel uncomfortable going the speed limit on the interstate here because people drive faster than that and they blow around you. And I just don't, especially with the way that Teslas tend to cut off cars behind you when changing into other lanes and autopilots, uh, unless this is much better than what it has been. It, I don't know. I would not feel super comfortable with that. And there's an estate right beside us too, where the speed limit actually is 80 miles per hour. Um, and so if you're driving there, that would be extremely, uh, I wouldn't like that much. So hopefully this is a very temporary change as far as the actual speeds go, and they'll be back up to uh, you know, 90 or whatever the top speed is today with that. There were threads going around yesterday where Tesla had, for a period of time, removed 
the uh, wording saying that auto emergency braking was standard on vehicles, uh, which caused some panic, really. Going to Pure Vision and removing that was a big deal. Um, and I had, you know, that, that was... I found that to be deeply concerning that Tesla would look at doing that, but they quickly updated the website to include the auto emergency braking as still a standard feature, which I think is critical. And, you know, if you saw that, I'm letting you know it is back. The auto emergency braking is back on the website. They have not taken that away. So at least that's no longer a concern. Um, and yeah, I, I think it's exciting to know that Tesla's moving forward with this, to doing the approach that they think is going to get them to full self-driving. Um, it's a little disappointing that to do this, you are going to see some steps back as far as functionality goes. Um, like I said, the Smart Summon one, that feature already needs so much work. Tesla does not appear to have done much work on it at all since the initial release. So hopefully whenever they go to the vision-based version of this, it has a dramatic impact in making that more uh, useful for all vehicles um, and the emergency lane departure avoidance. Not having that, it's not great. I'd like to get that back. Now, honestly, that one's kind of confusing on why that one's not there. I would think that that one is more reliant on vision than anything else anyway. So it's kind of confusing to me why that's gone, but... I don't, I don't know. I'm not an autopilot engineer, so maybe that had some sort of reliance on radar that I just don't understand. Um, regardless, this is all inf interesting information. Um, hopefully, we'll learn more at the delivery event on June 3rd, uh, which is rumored to have a live stream. And if rumors are to be believed, there will also be several other exciting announcements coming alongside of that delivery event. Um, I'm not going to repeat any of them because it's all it's all just pure rumor and speculation at this point and you know we'll, we'll see what comes of it but if any of it's true it could be a very exciting day um regardless uh hopefully we learn more about this pure vision approach that Tesla's taking with the uh with the new Model 3 and Model Y um and yeah it's all extremely interesting to me so anyway let me know what you think. Is this uh, a good move for Tesla to make? Uh, are you, if you're getting a Model 3 or Model Y in the near future, do these changes concern you? Um, anyway, this has been Brett with Surging Ahead. Thanks for watching and have a great day.